No regrets for the Bobcats on Saturday in Akron. They finished off the Akron Zips to go to 1-0 in Mid-American Conference play. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats. We're all shoehorned in here. Ohio won it 43-3 over the Zips to start off MAC play and to go to 4-1 and on the season. Can't quibble with much. This was a dominant effort today. Nah, fantastic. You know, you, uh, you get the early safety, you get the defensive stop, you get the defensive score, and end up scoring about 40 in a row on these guys. Stem to stern after the first two possessions, Ohio was fantastic. Defensively, Ohio gave up the first three points on one of the first Akron drives of the game, but then stabilized itself and pitched a shutout the rest of the way. It was a pretty comprehensive performance for a defense that played really well today. Yeah, it was an offense that was balanced today. Had enough big plays in there. The run game was sprinkled amongst several backs and saw a quarterback move a little bit as well. And uh, Also, the defensive play today, getting pressure on the quarterback. That was one of the things that fans wanted to know. Is Ohio going to bring some heat? Well, they did. Eight sacks on the afternoon. Yeah, there's a reason why Ohio was able to win by 40 and not put up a giant 700-yard offensive game. Eight sacks was defensive front. You had some. You had Sales get involved, a freshman. You had Terrell Basham in there for, I believe, uh, two and a half. I believe Brands gets in there. You have a balance effort. That defensive front was a question in August. It is not a question right now. They're rotating a ton of guys on that line, too, and there's a lot of energy guys there. Eight sacks is the most the program's had since 1999. Again, comprehensive defense, defensive performance holding Akron below 200 yards is, I think that's the first time they've done that in two years. Uh, some offensive highlight plays. There was a safety. There was uh, a bunch of sacks. There was a non-offensive touchdown. Uh, and, yeah, three points allowed over two weeks of football. I know it was 1AA, uh, and I know it was on the road against an Akron ball club, but that's a dominant performance over two weeks. Let's take a look and see how it looked and sounded in the MAC opening win in the Rubber City. This is the 17th punt of the year for Venom. Average is 30, 70 yards per boot. This one is a spiraling kick that is taken to the 15. Ohio, a great coverage. They lost the ball. Loose on the turf and rolling to the one towards the goal line. It's into the end zone. And who came up with it? It is back by the S in Zips in that blue end zone. The ball was bobbled and it was pushed back into the end zone. And it is a safety. And Ohio is on top two to nothing. Left at the numbers, corners off the ball, third and nine, ball at the 12. Back to pass, Tyler, flushed out, rolls to the right, still on the run right, gonna run, got to the 10, got to the five, spins, got a first down, goes out of bounds. First and goal for the Cats of the north side one, Ohio up 9-3. Here it is, handoff ball, no play fake, throw to the end zone, caught, touchdown Bobcats. A beautiful play fake and a throw to Mangan out of the tight end slot on the right side, touchdown Ohio. Tyler. Snap, handoff, Boykin runs behind, blocking to the right side. Extra effort, got in for six. Touchdown, Cats. You can't keep Ryan Boykin out of the house from inches away. And Ohio's on top, 22-3, 4.45 to go for the first half. <laughs> Two wide to the left, wide receiver right. Second down at about eight, ball at the 20-yard line. And it's a play fake. Pole will keep inches his way left, and he ran into... Oh, the ball's, oh, the ball's loose. Picked up by Thad Engel inside the 10-yard line. Back pedals his way and into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Are you serious? A trip to the house after the ball was fumbled. Pole just kind of inched his way left, and somehow he lost the ball. Josh Kristoff was the one to make the play, and Ohio is on top 29-3. So you get out of here with the victory. That's 1-0 in MAC play, the first of eight on this drive to Detroit. Central Michigan comes to town next week for homecoming, and they're a ball club that knocked off Miami on Saturday. Yeah, 21-9 over the Red Hawks. But you look what they're doing. They're not putting up a ton of points. They've broken their primary quarterback, have a freshman out there who throws pick after pick after pick, and they're on their backup running back as well. Offensively, this is not the team that went to a bowl and looked actually pretty good at the end of last season. And it's an opportunity for Ohio to get back home. It's a good chance to go 2-0. and It's the first of crossover weekends for the MAC and, and for the Bobcats as Ohio will take on Central Michigan, then Eastern Michigan. Time to get things rolling here. Something that we mentioned a lot during the broadcast today was that next week Ohio's got a chance to, to go to 500 overall as a program, 554 four wins, 554 losses with a win over Central Michigan next week on homecoming. Just a symbol of the resurgence of the program over the last 10 or so years since Frank Solich has been here. This is a massive booth, but somehow we had to fit yeah, just us. Right, We're in about right five and a half square feet here. This is fantastic. Well, it was a good one for the Bobcats. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. For Tanner Smith and the entire Bobcat TV crew, and for Grant Burkhart and Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Very bright shirt today. I like it. Cats win at 43-3. Good night from Akron. This is Bobcat TV.